the Holy Annunciation Monastery in Sugarloaf, the Good Sisters do a lot of praying, a lot of baking, all done with great love. Let's go meet the sisters. We belong to the Roman Rite Order of Discalced Carmelites, but by a very special permission, we have our own Tipicon, which means our rule our constitutions, our prescriptions are just for this house. No other Carmelite monastery in the world has our constitutions. We are here for God and for God's people, which means we left the world so we can't go out to you except by praying for you. But you can come to see us. We are open to pray with you if you will come to our services. We have a bakery, we have animals, and we do have an open barn during the summer, and children love the little horses, the miniature cows, and it's a beautiful area. Sugarloaf is really beautiful. here in the kitchen with Sister Andrea, and she is a Byzantine Carmelite nun. And Sister, you guys do a lot of baking here. Today you're going to bake something for us. What are we doing? A lemon pound cake. So where do we begin in making this cake? First the butter is softened. All right. So that's what we're going to do now. So when the butter is softened, we okay. gradually add the sugar, and that you have to beat until it's light and fluffy. Okay. You can tell by the color, and by the texture. Yeah, you kind of get a feel for it. Yeah. So how much sugar are we putting in? We're putting in three cups of sugar. Three cups, okay. Into one and a half cups of butter. Okay. It's good to scrape down the sides. Okay. And I'll be doing that probably now. All right, sounds good. So the next thing that we do is put in eight eggs and you have to put them in one at a time and mm -hmm. after each one, make sure that it's very well mixed and then let it go until the yolk disappears. All right, gotcha. But this has a lot of flavoring. For these two little loaf pans, we'll be adding one and a half tablespoons each oh, wow. of lemon juice and lemon extract, nice. which is strong, but the taste is not overpowering. Right. If you can find real lemon juice, that makes a difference yeah. also. Yeah. We have lemon juice because of our jelly making, and the sisters use a lot of lemon juice in the jelly, so we're fortunate to have the, the real juice that we can add into yeah. things like this, too. So the last three eggs are going to go in. Okay. And after the eggs go in, the last thing before the flavorings is the flour. Okay. And it's also three cups of flour. All right, sounds three good. Three cups of flour, three cups of sugar. And the one and a half cups of butter is just three quarters of a pound if it's easier for some people. To remember, to, okay. Yeah. All right, we can start adding the flour. Now, is that something you have to add a little at a time also? Also, and slow the mixer down, otherwise it'll <laughs> blow we'll up in your in face. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of snow, so I don't want any more snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's like all-purpose flour, regular all-purpose flour. And actually, we use gold metal okay. because a gold metal is very good and it, you don't have to sift it. Oh, okay. Which is a big time saver. Yes. And this recipe makes two loaves. Yeah. You have your choice. You can do either one bundt pan or the two loaves. The loaf pan is actually a little bit easier to work with because it's easier to distribute Mm -hmm. You know, the bunt pan, yeah. you have to keep turning. And, and like even like getting it, it out and it, everything, it's yeah. so much yeah. easier. And all you do with these pans is grease and flour them both. Okay. It's actually an amazing cake because there's really nothing, no leavening in it. And some pound cakes you bake at a very, very low temperature for a long time. Yeah. This one you do for one hour at 350. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so I just want to make sure that all the flour is smoothed in, that there are no lumps in there before we put the extract in because this, this will blend a very short time. All right. This is one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice mm -hmm. and one and a half tablespoons of lemon extract. And now Sister Mary is joining us and you're going to put it into the loaf pans. Yes, and these are just standard nine by five loaf pans. It's a very thick batter and it bakes for one hour, so it kind of settles as it's baking, so you don't have to do really too much by way of flattening it out. So we're not going to press it in or anything, but just get it more or less 
towards so, each side. All right, kind of like lightly evening yes. it out. Yeah, and so we have convection ovens here, which means our temperature will be reduced, but in a conventional oven is 350. 350, okay. 350 for one hour. All right. Well, sisters, thank you so much for having us today and for baking this beautiful lemon pound cake. And why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about the sisters? Well, we're Ruthenian Catholic nuns here in Sugarloaf. Mm -hmm. We have a bakery. We sell all kinds of things, cheesecake, rolls, jellies, yogurt. Now we're doing yogurt also. That's become very popular. Yeah, it's really nice. You have like a beautiful gift shop here. So if people want to stop by and pick up some gifts or pick up some baked goods, they can do that. Or you can also order online, right? Right. We have a website, Monastery Pantry website. Yes. But if they want to come in person, our gift shop is open every day from 10 until 4, except on Sundays. And also, we want to tell everybody, if they did want to stop here and they want to attend Mass, the folks are welcome to do that too, that, right? That's lovely. Our liturgies are open to the public every day. And from Monday to Saturday, they're at 8.30, and on Sundays, they're at 12 o'clock noon. Sisters, thank you so much again. We really You're had welcome. a great time. Uh, it was welcome. a lot of fun to learn how to bake this beautiful cake. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.